To celebrate this year's Rehoboth Beach Jazz Festival, the Peninsula Gallery is hosting an exhibition of artworks depicting nightlife and famous musicians. The works in this fun and vibrant exhibition encompass the energy of late night jazz clubs and speakeasies. Mixing historical faces and iconic images with abstract paintings, these colorful and innovative works bring the American jazz scene to Lewis. Inviting viewers to intimate performances with the likes of Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald, and Joni Mitchell, all while enjoying a rich glass of red on the side. We asked the artists from the show to reflect on their artistic style, the use of music throughout their career, and what they hope you will get as a viewer of this show. My artwork is inspired by travel, music, and culture. And what I mean by that is um, I like to paint um, musicians in, in cityscape settings. Um, a lot of my artwork is inspired by big uh, music venues, especially in New York, uh, like the Village Vanguard, the Blue Note, the Iridium. These are big um, jazz venues, jazz rooms that I've visited in the past 20 years. And I plan all my vacations around music festivals. And so I wanted to bring that to life in my paintings. What I'm trying to do is give you a glimpse behind the scenes of what made the greats of jazz, who they are. Ella Fitzgerald, Billie Holiday. You, I want you to see the work that goes in, the creativity, the friendships and camaraderie that they share, the things that happen off the stage and behind the scenes. My artwork is inspired by music lights, color, reflections, uh, various moments in my life, and my family. Music is a major influence on my art. Sometimes I can hear a song and envision a painting or colors. Um, for every painting or series of paintings, I also create a playlist that plays on repeat until the painting or series of paintings are complete. I uh, started the painting in this style several years ago when I composed uh, oh, maybe 40, 50 uh, posters for the uh, music classroom, I realized actually that there were no uh, modern paintings of our favorite composers. And so I composed these and um, I continued with the style into um, some of the modern day uh, music performers and favorite performers and uh, well-known icons of jazz rock and uh, popular culture. The music uh, really does drive my artwork uh, to the point where when I hear music, I see certain colors that come to life. So with jazz music, I see a lot of earthy tones and rich golds and um, sunburnt oranges and, um, and royal blues. And these rich colors really um, get integrated into my paintings. In terms of culture, I like to highlight uh, women and diversity in my artwork. And um, being a woman of color, um, I think that it's super important to represent uh, women of ethnicity um, and also um, to showcase um, jazz instrumentalists that are women, not just jazz vocalists. And so I wanted to put a spotlight on that, which is why you see um, these musicians that are female in Now's the Time, because I I, I wanted to kind of change the, the, the landscape of jazz art that way with including more women in, in the paintings. I want viewers to take away a feeling of happiness, joy, um, celebration, um, I want it to perhaps invoke some memories for them, uh, memories of good times, uh, maybe opening and sharing a special bottle uh, or sharing a glass of something with someone or many people. Wine, Women and All That Jazz is on display from October 2nd to the 30th at Peninsula Gallery in Lewis, Delaware. Works from the show can be previewed at peninsula-gallery.com.